Okay, and I found this really interesting news story on my news app, and I wanted to talk about it because I'm just all types of baffled. So I'm just going to read the article, give my commentary, and, you know, tell you what I think about all of this. All right, so here we go. Woman in vegetative state for 10 years, apparently assaulted, gives birth to baby boy. Okay. In a vegetative state for 10 years, and you're going to say apparently assaulted? Uh, I think she was assaulted. So this happened out of Phoenix, and it's the article says, Phoenix police are investigating a report of sexual assault committed against a female patient who had been hospitalized in a vegetative state for a decade after the woman stunned hospital, hospital staffers when she gave birth to a child last month. Mm -mm -mm. How does that happen? While citing patient confidentiality laws and declining to confirm the details of the alleged assault, first reported by Phoenix CBS affiliate KPHO and confirmed in part by Phoenix ABC affiliate KNXV, Hacienda Healthcare released a statement this week that did not refute the description of the alleged incident reported by KPHO. So they didn't refute it, so as far as I'm concerned, it happened. A Phoenix police spokesman told KNXV that the matter is currently under investigation. As an organization, Hacienda Healthcare stands fully committed to getting to the truth of what for us represents an unprecedented matter. David Lepowitz, sorry if I'm getting that name um, saying that name incorrectly, spokesman for the Hacienda Healthcare said in a statement, we are already conducting a comprehensive internal review of our processes, protocols, and people to ensure that every single Hacienda resident is as safe and well cared for as possible. Anything less than that is unacceptable to our team, our company's leader, leaders and the communities we serve. In a second statement released on Friday, the healthcare facility said that officials there had recently become aware of a deeply disturbing incident involving the health and safety of a Hacienda, of a Hacienda resident. That statement went on to say that the facility will continue to cooperate fully with law enforcement and all the relevant regulatory agencies regarding this matter. Man, I have so many questions going through my mind right now, but let's get through this article. Sources cited by KPHO said that the woman had been a patient at the facility for at least 10 years following a near-drowning incident that left her in a vegetative state. Wow, that's sad. The woman, according to the sources cited by KPHO, gave birth to a healthy baby boy on December 29th, last year okay somebody needs to be in jail none of the staff were aware that she was pregnant until she was pretty much giving birth what okay a source told the news station from what i've been told she was moaning and they didn't know what was wrong with her wow so she's she was moaning while she's in a vegetative state and this whole time, nobody knew she was pregnant. Okay, we'll talk about that later. The source went on to tell the news station that the woman would have been defenseless, defenseless against a sexual assault and unable to communicate the fact that she was assaulted or was pregnant. The Arizona State Department of Health Services confirmed to KNXV on Friday that the facility, which has been operating for decades, is being mandated to operate with more guidelines, which include increased security, which you should have already had, increased staff presence during interaction with patients, and increased monitoring of patient care areas. All male health care aides are now being required to provide treatment to female patients with another person in the room. <laughs> By late Friday, Arizona gov Governor 
Doug Ducey's office released a statement saying he had been informed of the situation that occurred at his health care facility and finds the report deeply troubling. Yes, that's very troubling, to say the least. The statement went on to say that our top priority is patient safety. To that end, we are reevaluating the state's contract and regulatory authority as it relates to this facility and have been working closely with state agencies to ensure that all necessary safety measures are in place. Okay, so I have a whole lot of questions about this. First of all, I feel so bad for the family. You know, you go through a tragedy and you have your loved one somewhere where you think they're being cared for and she's basically can't do anything for herself because she's vegetative and she has a baby, all right? I'm confused about a, a, a few, few things that the article did not mention. And the first thing that I'm confused about is how did she go nine months pregnant and nobody knew? I mean, did her stomach get bigger? I mean, normally when you're pregnant and I've been pregnant, I have kids, your stomach grows. I mean, anyone who's seen a pregnant woman, the stomach grows. Is it if you're in a vegetative state, your stomach doesn't get that big? I mean, you tell me. This, to me, is hard for me to believe this. Um, secondly, even if they couldn't tell she was pregnant, didn't they do, like, periodically take blood from her or do some type of medical um, treatments or checkups on her where they could have found that she was pregnant? And another question I have is about the family. And while I know that this is tragic for them, were they visiting her? Did they notice anything? What? How did this happen? And this, if if it if this just got exposed, I can guarantee you that this is happening all over the place. In my opinion, I think that there's a big cover up. I think that you're going to find that some of the staff. We're covering up for behavior of other people and not reporting this crime because this is essentially rape. And each and every one, each and every person that had anything to do with this or had knowledge of this and did not report it needs to face some type of um, punishment. And the person who actually committed the assault, and I'm hoping it was only one person because to be honest with you, if you have someone who can't talk, can't, can't move, can't tell anybody that something is wrong, they are the perfect victim. So who knows who could have been going in and out of that room, most likely probably at night. It could have been a nurse. It could have been a, a janitor. It could have been anybody, a doctor, you know, in the room having sexual relations with this, with this um, woman when they know that the busy time when there's not going to be a whole lot of people around. I think this is a very sad. I am definitely going to be following up on this story because it makes you uncomfortable to put your loved ones in places because you can't guarantee their safety. You know, I'm sure that the family is being torn apart by this. And now there's a baby that needs to be raised, a baby that is a product of rape. Because that is what happened. She was raped. And she was able to moan that she was in labor. What was happening when they were raping her? Was she moaning then? Was she making noise then? And people didn't hear her? You know, to me, it just sounds like it's a big cover-up. There's a whole lot of unanswered questions. Um, I'm definitely going to keep my eye out on this story. I hope it gets a lot of publicity. And um, to say the least, whoever did this needs to be in the jail and right there, okay? If they never get out again, I would be totally satisfied with that. Um, another sad thing is she's been in a coma for 10 years, not saying that miracles don't happen and God doesn't um, heal, 
but she may not ever get to know her, her, her son. And it's just all emotional. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I don't know if the parents are going to keep the baby. I don't know. I mean, I don't know who's going to take care of the baby. Um, what's going to happen to the baby? The baby was a product of, of rape. They may just keep the baby and raise it. Um, I think if it was me, I probably would. But, you know, everybody's different. Some people probably would have had an abortion, but she wasn't even given any options in this matter because she's in a vegetative state and clearly cannot make any decisions on her own. And for some reason, her pregnancy went unnoticed by everybody. So they say. So I don't know if the family did not go to see her as much since it she's in, you know, the state for 10 years. I don't know. You know, I'm just... I'm just baffled as to why nobody noticed her stomach growing or did she stop coming on her period or maybe your period stops when you're not active. You know, it, you know, it's just so many questions. But anyway, I just ran across this article and I just wanted to get on and, and share it, you know, cause my channel, I do random, randomish things. So I will see you soon. Bye.